Hello, Dr. Miller. Hello, Rhonda. How was your weekend? It went good. I went with my boyfriend to Selma to meet his parents. They are so cool. Oh, that's good. Uh, well, I'll be here for the next 48 hours. If you need anything, I'll be around. We've been on this case for six weeks and still haven't got close to Rex. Well, I just need a few more days on the street. I know my girls are gonna introduce me to Rex. You girls, you say it like you're the pimp. Oh, stop being negative. You're just upset you haven't got any pussy yet. You think on Motel Drive I would get some pussy? Oh, come on, something happen. Hey, bitch, I seen you out here on my street a few nights. Now seems like you're taking my bitch's money. Oh, baby, I'm just trying to make some cash to get by. Times are hard. Know what I'm saying? I'm just new to Fresno. I don't know anyone here to show me the ropes. They call me Rex. Why don't you let me help you out? Show you how to really make money from that pussy you got. Well, alrighty, Miss Sally. How are you doing today? I'm doing better, Doctor. Thank you so much for your help. It's not only my pleasure, it's my job. Are you married, Doc? Why, are you gonna ask me out? Are you gonna marry me? <laughs> no, silly. My daughter would love to go out with you. Oh, Sally, you know I can't disappoint all the other females in the world. I gotta stay single. Where are we gonna go for lunch? I think I might just get something from the cafeteria. It's been a long weekend. I don't feel like going out. You and Lisa having problems still? I think it might be over for good this time. Well, alright then. I got to meet Rex. Shit, I need to go to the hospital. My fucking arm might be broken. What happened? Don't fucking laugh, I had went to some bitch's room to get a piece of ass, and she saw my badge when I opened my wallet. Then she swung a baseball bat at me, hit me hard. <laughs> Why was you getting your wallet? Was she a hooker? Damn bitch, that hurt. Let's go to the hospital. I'm gonna go to the bathroom. You just wait here. I need to get back to the motel I got to meet Rex. Hi. Hey, what's up? So is it broken? No, he just got a bruised shoulder. Thanks, Doc. Excuse me, Doctor, did you see a tall black guy that's a big crybaby got hit on his arm with a bat? Oh, yeah. He's out in the waiting room. Are you his wife? Oh, no, he's my partner. I'm a detective. All right on. I'm Dr. Miller. You can call me Peter. I'm Jill. Well, here's my card with my personal phone number on there. If you need anything or help with anything, give me a call. Okay, I'll call you if I need you for something. Even if you can't resist and want to ask me out for a drink. Bye, Pete. See you later. Your doctor was kinda cute, I got his number. <laughs> Oh shit, look how you're dressed, you can get any guy's number. Don't be such a cock blocker, you're just upset the hooker you had hit you with a bat. Bitch, shut up, that shit hurt. What's up, Rex? What's up, sugar tits? So you gonna show me the ropes here? You first term is don't be slanging pussy in my hood unless I get 45%. <laughs> you're funny. Can you get any dope around here? Like what are you a cop you know you got to show me your tits? I don't have time for this shit I thought you was cool and show me shit around here. Alright come by tonight don't give me any bullshit either. Bye Rex. Something is not right with that bitch. Wake up Pete. I'm awake, I'm awake. Why don't you go home for a while, you're off for the next two days. Yeah, but too much drama. Besides, I can't stop thinking about my patient's friend today. Fuck, she was hot. Really, were you jerking off? Did I fuck up your nut? <laughs> you're fucking stupid. T-Dog, where you at? I hope you're not jerking off in the bathroom. Well, he's not in the bathroom.
I guess I will call Dr. Pete. What's the deal with you and your bitch? Are you cops? Fuck you, nigga. <laughs> You're funny, I like you too bad, I'm gonna kill you. You're making a mistake, motherfucker. <laughs>